In this video, we're going to be manual muscle testing extensor carpi radialis longus, as well as extensor carpi radialis brevis. We're going to be positioning the elbow joint in two different positions since these muscles are very similar in their action at the wrist joint. So we're going to be taking advantage of the fact that extensor carpi radialis longus would have a greater effect in flexion at the elbow versus brevis. So starting with longus, what we're actually going to ask our person to do is to extend their forearm out a little bit. So we have more flexion that is currently happening at the elbow. And we're going to be positioning her kind of part way, um, starting with the wrist in neutral, but she's kind of slightly turning over into pronation. So the idea behind this is in one smooth motion, we're going to do extension and radial deviation plus lift the forearm up off the table. Are you able to do that for me on your own? Excellent. Okay. So for the break test for this, we are wanting the elbow off the table. In other words, sorry, the forearm off the table so that there's a space. And then we're going to have them into some radial deviation and a little bit of extension. I'm going to place my hands across the metacarpal, focusing on that second one. And as I'm going to be drawing down, I'm going to hold in behind her elbow to make sure it doesn't move her entire forearm. I'm going to draw down, as please don't let me move you, as I hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. And now lastly, for the concentric, if you please push up against me, wrist, 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 and now forearm up off the table. Keep going, keep going. Excellent. And we'll bring that back down. So now to change this over to brevis, what we're going to do is add less flexion in the elbow. So we'll bend it further back, taking into account that we don't want as much elbow flexion to occur, as well as the forearm will not be lifted up off the table. So in this case, I'm gonna have you again do radial deviation extension, but without the forearm in this part. Okay, so just the wrist whenever you're ready. Great. So for the break test, again, I'm not including the forearm, so the forearm will stay in contact with the table. I'm going to again be resting across the metacarpals in this area, and I'm going to pull down and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And now again, you can lift up against my pressure. Great. And that concludes both active break and concentric for both extensor carpi radius longus and brevis. The last part of this is that we're going to show the length assessment. Now, because both of these muscles do cross the elbow joint, we're going to be holding their elbow into extension. Because they both do wrist extension and radial deviation, we're going to be bringing her first into wrist flexion. And this is a very slight motion here, but I'm going to ulnarly deviate by shifting the carpals ulnarly. So again, I'm going to show you that one more time. We're going to take the wrist and we're going to push over into ulnar deviation. Please make sure that you're not going through a twisting motion since it's not acting on supination and pronation, just on ulnar deviation for your pressure. 